Gay. Gay. Straight. Oh, definitely gay. Um, you know, I'm not too sure about this one. Come on, AI. Tell me. Is this table gay? You know, I usually do better with people. Look at it! <laughs> Is this table gay? Uh, um, oh, yes, yeah, yes it is. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Hope you all been doing well. I, I need to shave and probably need a haircut. But we'll get there. I got more important stuff to talk to you about today. Happy Pride Month, everyone. If this video went up in time, probably didn't. Definitely didn't, because it's the 29th right now. Which in that case, happy month of July. July. Everyone's favorite National Baked Bean Month. I, of course, will be celebrating by cooking famed animator Beanie in the oven at around 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. As typical, and I'll be doing that every day during July, so uh, get ready, Bean, I'm coming for you. Hey, how's it going? You, you doing well? You ever had someone critique a, a piece of work that you put on the internet. Perhaps a little too harshly. Perhaps in the form of a YouTube comment. And maybe Smirk12 called you gay on your Grimace video. And as a result, you built an artificial intelligence to analyze his profile picture and prove once and for all that he is in fact gay. Look, we've all been there. I've just been there a little bit more recently. Because I did that! I built it and it works! Come on! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Gay! So I'm sitting there, okay? Being heterosexual as fuck! When I realized I could do something that nobody has ever done before. I could build an artificial intelligence so powerful, something the world has never seen! One that was capable of analyzing your profile picture and telling me how gay you are. But some fucker already went ahead and did it! No one tells me these things, man. I find out this guy, Michael Kosinski, already made an AI that could detect if you're gay. It analyzes your facial features, shape of your eyes, your nose, whatever, and determines your sexuality. And you know what he did with it? He started working with Russia! What?! This is a real thing! He gave it to a country famously known for its vast gay population. Are you gay? Net. I'm serious. Kozinski, a professor at Stanford, was quoted in saying that he's flattered that the Russian cabinet is listening to him. L let me read you exactly what he said. You know, a guy who starts wars and takes over countries? Those guys strike me as one of the most competent and well-informed groups. They did their homework. They read my stuff. Of course they read your stuff! That country has trying to kill gay people! What do you mean you're happy they've read your stuff? Also, who starts an article with Vladimir Putin was not in attendance? I didn't think he was! Just start slapping that on to other articles. Just put it at the beginning of the news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Phobe Constantine. You're watching the 8 o'clock news at 7. Vladimir Putin was not in attendance when a bread truck tipped over in Northeast Ohio. This truck carrying approximately 14 tons of bread collided with a vehicle carrying mostly cheese en route from Wisconsin. The result? An accident that you fond don't want to miss. What was I saying again? Right, gay AI. Kosinski's program is racist, sexist, and dare I say it, kinda gay. That's why my program is gonna be a thousand times better. Okay, those Russians are gonna be breaking down my door. <laughs> now, writing code is hard. That's why I based my program off of one traditionally used to analyze cats and dogs. Because at the end of the day, we're all nothing but a bunch of pussies and bitches. Aren't we, Oliver? Don't you think that's what we are? Uh, uh, he's gone. Now, I bet some of you are wondering how it works. Well, it uses neural networks and blah, blah, blah. No one cares. What's important is, look at this table. That's one gay-ass table. What does the AI say? Oh, that 
that's a gay ass table, I called it. You can't, you can't have a table like this and not immediately know that it's incredibly homosexual. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. What about this fish? Fish is gay, obviously. But how about this fish? Uh, another gay fish, should have known. What the fuck, why are all these fish gay? There has to be at least one straight fish here, come on. Okay, finally. These seared ahi tuna apps are straight. I knew it. You just, you don't get seared ahi tuna like that when it's gay. How about these dusty old bones? You know, these could be gay. Nah, they straight, should've known. Some clouds? Let's see what it says. Ooh, those some gay ass clouds. The time has come. I'm going to combine every picture that I used to train this model to create the gayest person who has ever lived. They will be the perfect human. Eyes of a fox, nose of a falcon, Ellen DeGeneres. To create something, no man, no woman, no transgender individual or anyone identifying as LGBTQ would recognize. Let's see it. To God, Ryan Gayman. There he is. Well, there you have it, folks. Might not be the most accurate, but I promise, Russia, I'ma work out those kinks. It's gonna be 10 out of 10. You wanna know if your table's gay? I'll tell you if your table's gay. You're gonna be Russian smashing tables all over the place. Seriously, Russia, call me. Hit me up, can I get, can I get sponsored by Russia? <laughs> no one's gonna watch this channel if I do. <clears throat> if you actually wanna use it, uh, there'll be a link here on the Patreon. Stay excellent, everyone. I'll see you next time. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think you can determine someone's sexuality by how they look. Bah, it's probably fine. I made the video already. Potato chips, hi, crunchy, crunchy. Potato chips, crunch, crunchy, crunchy. A crunch, crunch, crunch. I don't want no nut. All I want is potato chips. Potato chips, all oh, those potato, potato chips. Potato, potato, potato.